Episode 116 of the Touchline Ramp Podcast. This is our Christmas special. We've got Jordan Lloyd here, captain of CSKA Sophia Gardens. Who guess has made more than three appearances? What are we talking about? We're talking about Jordan making no. more appearances. No, in this episode. Well, the Christmas list. Yeah, I'm trying to work out. Santa. A, I've been, all week, I've been trying to think out a way of linking 12 days of Christmas to 12 highlights of the year. I can't make yeah. it happen. <clears throat> Where we're going to give you 12 things which we think are the highlights of, of 2019 football wise. So we're going to have a look at the Champions League fixtures and the Europa League fixtures. That's going to be good. We've got a Reader's Wives for the first time in ages. Oh. That's a tick on that. Music? Yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. And this is the first four of our highlights of the year. Of the Christmas list. Yeah, it's a Christmas list. Twelve, it's probably twelve, isn't it? Twelve rants Sounds of right. Christmas. First highlight the Champions League semi-finals. Favourite goal? <sighs> Lucas Moura's last one for Spurs, for me, when they beat Ajax. Because I remember watching it with you. I said just some pure brilliance, that messy free kick first leg against Liverpool yeah. I think the significance of the, the quick Alexander Arnold corner that, outstanding oh and yeah then, it and was, then the, the Origi that was amazing twist, twist to um, so that's never got, happened before no one's ever taken that corner before corner, ever caught him unaware yeah. just doesn't happen the just champion, Champions League semi final against Barca let's try it now Those, the, they were dramatic weren't they I said at the time I stand by it I think the Spurs result was more dramatic than the Liverpool one well you had potch and tears <laughs> those scenes yeah. for the Best things ever. That was, what was it? Thank you. Ago? Thank you, football. Yeah. When you he football. started crying in the BT, yeah, the BT, and he was saying about Iconic. it, his, he dedicated it to his wife and his kids. He said, without football, you cannot live. Pure emotion, no pre planned rubbish, pure oozing out of him. From the heart. He's amazing. He's a stunning. Such, such a manager, and I'm telling you, when he goes to the they're going to have a great you saw that? Definitely. Absolutely. That's your life's work. That right was there. my cool. wallpaper for a while, that picture of Potch crying on the pitch. That was my wallpaper for a while. In your, in your house? Yeah, in the house. I'll just do that in the dining room. Kids didn't like it, but... Oh. That's a tick on that. The number two on our list, which from the Champions League semi-finals, moves on to a bit of uh, ATR highlights of the year. ATR business. Business. One of our highlights of the year, we've decided, is us taking this little podcast into a live structure. Four live shows this year, and all four of them have sold out weeks in advance, and they've all been a good success. We lead in, because one of them was a Champions League watch party that we hosted, a Little yeah. Man Coffee. All at Little Man Coffee. Good one. Shout out to that Little Man epic. Coffee. We hosted a live watch party of the Champions League final, where we projected this game onto a big Within screen. Within two weeks. Did that, sold it out, we got about 90 odd people in there. And it was a great night. <laughs> well, no, the live shows, then that does lead us on to the next one. Shout out to everyone who came to the live shows. Thank you very much. At one of the live shows, the, synergy in the, air. At the Champions League Fusion uh, watch party, Mr. Jordan Lloyd was there, who's our, is here tonight. That's when something was born. That's being born. And um, we took over as main shirt sponsor of CSK Sapphire Guys. We've befuddled other teams on Sunday and they think, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Skinner to keep an eye on us, decided to play for us to make sure we're representing just to make the sure brand. Just make sure. You are their goalkeeper. Um, scaring, guilty as fuck. Scaring strikers. Another yeah. thing we did, this, we took it on tour. We did our ATR tour and went to Straya. Straya. Uh, all went to Sydney. Three of us were all there. To watch co-host of this podcast. Mitchell Lewis Gad to get married to Rachel Gad. Congratulations. While we're out there, we managed to film a a we finished we filmed the podcast outside Sydney Opera House with Mitchell. We filmed a podcast outside Luna Park with yourself. What was your highlight of Australia? Obviously second to the wonderful wedding. I thoroughly enjoyed being sat on a beach. One of my little highlights was catching the ferry over across to the bridge and then forgetting we need to get off and so we just went yeah to that was a superb highlight that was getting ne none of us getting <laughs> off your the ferry, ferry game my ferry game it was too good it was too engaging if I owned you don't the ferry need to. company no it needs to be said <laughs> if you own the ferry if I owned the ferry company how much would it cost me to employ you and he played that game with both of us we got so into the game that our, we missed our ferry stop and it was there for a good three minutes wasn't it and it the was ferry stop was the first stop <laughs> the first stop we only had to get one stop 
four on the list. That's then. four. So right four. Champions yeah. League semi finals. Strong. Top Very strong. ATR four. live shows. This is twelve. S- CSKA sponsorship mm-hmm. and the Australia tour are the first highlights of our year. Oh. That's a tick on that. The next four highlights are here. Wales qualifying for the Euros. What a joyous night that was. This is one of the standouts for me. This, this it was whole, amazing. The whole campaign and Kiefer more the impactful nature of Kiefer. And to get to another tournament is just outrageous. The impactful nature of Gareth Bale. I think as well, looking ahead to the Euros, um, they have How much got, do you think I they think they've got a good Santa club players. Oh, it's, it's no longer like a five pound, get you a grab bag or something like that. Yeah, no, it's... I told you to give me a gift voucher. Can yeah. they even settle it? <laughs> yeah. I reckon it's the other way. How much do you think it is? Do you um, think it's one of those? I'm trying to do it, definitely. Just I've got a bit. fact about It's not a tenner, is it? Secret Santa. Oh. That's a tick on that. The 2018-2019 title running, where Liverpool finished on... 97 points and it still wasn't enough to win the league title it's good to focus on Man City being important they haven't been as good but Liverpool only lost one game last year and haven't lost any this year Man City intend to go European right and to get Champions League that's a priority and then obviously Liverpool's to win the league because they've been burnt last season that's a tick on that 12 things of Christmas this is point seven. Us taking uh, a text line rant, which is this podcast you're listening to, if you weren't sure. Out and about, we took it to people. To like, independent. Yeah, no. that's a tick on that. Do you think Graham Souness should have made this list? Graham Souness would have made Almost. the list if he'd said more than one good thing this year. Ooh. He uh, needed to sure. say two or three. But what he came up with about being a gay footballer and oh, saying... I went to Brighton Mardi Gras and it opened my mind and I learned things. That was huge for a man of his age, of his generation and of his profile to say. That's a tick on that. The Champions League and the Europa League draws. Favourite? It's got to be in Madrid City. <clears throat> I'd like to go Madrid, Liverpool. 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 I would say Liverpool there, yeah, as well. Okay, okay, okay. Dortmund, PSG? The PSG get past the round 16. And they get Dortmund. Ooh, okay, fierce. Tips, okay. Uh, Atalanta, Valencia? Uh, I really, really, really want Atalanta too, so I'm going to say Atalanta. I'd also like Atalanta, I think. Okay, okay, okay. Story there, okay. great story. Tottenheim, Leipzig? Uh, Leipzig. Okay. Uh, Mar- Mourinho job for me. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Difference of opinion. Chelsea, Bayern, Munich. Bayern. No. Bayern. Yeah. Napoli, Barcelona. 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 Okay. It's a poor time for me. Leon, Juventus. Juventus. Juve. Uh, Ma- uh, Madrid, Man City. <sighs> fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight, fight. Shall I give my answer first? Or should I give you go first. I think Benzema will come I think Real Madrid. I think Real Madrid will not Pep Guardiola out. I have been saying since the start of the season, on the season preview show, I said I believe this was Guardiola's last season as Man City manager, regardless of outcome. And I think this will be the final nail in the coffin. It's too much pressure on them to win it this year, because the league is gone. Yep. They have wanted that Champions League for so long, that's been their ultimate aim. Should we move on from that to the Europa? Europa League, we've all got horses in this, gentlemen. Uh, Club Bruges versus Man United. Bayer versus Porto is a great game. Uh, Getafe, Ajax is also a really good how, game. How far can Wolves go? Honestly, like a few more rounds. We're frightening in Europe. Frightening. You've definitely got, you'll definitely win, uh, I think. Again, credit where it is due. I think Arsenal being in the next round, I think they've done a very good job to do it under the circumstances um, because they like United they haven't had the best of seasons um, they, they need a big run in this more than ever I would love to see if but United still, still not if you lose in the final where well, are look, you that's the Europa should we end it there oh. that's a tick on that bubbly yeah, right. ready do you want the Wi-Fi I have the Wi-Fi I don't care about the Wi-Fi. You do care about the Wi-Fi. Oh, give me the Wi-Fi. Oh. Right. right, exciting, exciting times. Uh, as I'm being manhandled. I should. Manhandled. I should. More than I should. Okay, fair enough. We'll move on. Uh, special guest on the Christmas special. Another as one. As well as Jordan. Hello. Mitchell Gad. 
It's yeah, too, that was all right. It was too enthusiastic, mate. Tone it down. You do it again. Yeah, do it again. Should we try it again? Yeah. Be, be cool with it, though. Hello. It's better. Right. Better. Happy, bit more wooden. Medium. Less enthusiasm. Yeah. Stiff. Play Reader's Wives. We haven't played it in a while. We ask we them ask the question. The question. They take, give us the answers, and then players would make your Premier League non-top six 11. Standard top six, which is United City, Liverpool, Spurs, Chelsea, or Arsenal. The rule is they can't play for any of those clubs at any point in their careers. What about this Yeboah conundrum, which comes, which I've seen an influx of the last week? Yeboah. Yeah. What's the conundrum? D like, <laughs> he scored a few decent goals, right? That's it. I don't know if he should be anywhere near any of no. these teams. Yeah. No. That, yeah, that's what I mean. Should be. If you, People if just you know his name. Pitch, you, bear in mind, you can pick Shearer and Patrick Cliver in this team, and yeah. someone's picked on Yeboah, ain't having it. Also, not a single person said Ravenelli or Espria. Yeah, exactly. Or Peter and Love. Look how big Peter and Love's Coventry section is on Wikipedia. On the 19th of August 1992, Unlove made history by being the first African football to play in the new English Premier League. Having acquired striker Mickey Quinn in November 1992, they continued what had already been a blistering start with away wins at Tottenham Hotspur, 2 0, Sheffield Wednesday, 2 1 and Wimbledon, 2-1, to add to an already impressive home wins against Middlesbrough, 2-1. The season finished with a thrilling performance from Unlove in a three-all draw against Leeds United. Unlove was a key component throughout the season in Goole's fast, pacey front line, which included John Williams and Kevin Gallagher, until his departure to Blackburn, and Robert Rosario, who was a worthy partnership with Mickey Quinn. Unlove's goal against Norwich... In uh, Norwich City, in a one-all draw in September, was a signature piece of unloved flair, which earned him Man of the Match's Goal of the Month competition. The Bulawayo Bullet. Someone did say, when I said, not a single one of you has picked Espria, someone said, uh, good mom a great moment from a good player do not a great player make, which I thought was really harsh on Espria. Tony Boa, 59 appearances, 29 goals for Ghana. Berto Mancini, Ravinelli, Mendieta, Acocha, Herrero. Yeah, yeah. I'm not having okay. them. Should we leave that section there? Oh. That's a tick on that. Highlights. Highlights of 2019. Lionel Messi. Ballon d'Or. Lionel Messi, Messi is one of the absolute highlights of my existence. I think he's the greatest ever to have played the sport, and I genuinely don't think it's close. You can't beat those stats. Those stats are just something else from another world. Yeah, he's unreal. His career stats. This year, 2019, it was 46 goals in 54, club and country, 12 in 10 in the Champions League, wow. and he was, wasn't even a finalist. He hit his 600th career goal yeah 50th free kick next next thing Lionel Messi next what a player list. next uh, next talking about being aroused do is we... Chelsea winning the Europa League do we have to it's a bad result for you I get that however even you were taken by one moment in particular which was Sari staring lovingly at his medal yeah a former banker at like I believe in his early 40s he was Sorry, a banker, cla classy, and he has worked his way through the lowest of the lowest leagues to Napoli, performed amazingly, then come in at Chelsea, and under so much insane pressure and criticism from Still everywhere, everywhere, he won the Europa League and was stared at his medal and did such a good job that when everyone thought Chelsea were going to fire him, he resigned to take over at Juventus. That... What? A, that's, an, that's boss move. It Women's was World Cup, that happened. Women's World Cup did happen. Women's good. World Cup was... Incredible. Uh, uh, Women's World Cup is the reason that my daughter... I've said this story before. My daughter was sat down and I was watching Scotland versus England, I believe it was, which was a, an early evening kickoff on a Sunday night. And we sat and I said, oh, there's football on. And she was like, oh, okay. I was like, I'll just watch a bit and then we'll turn cartoons on. She sat there and she, I was like... Oh, they're all, it's all women. And she was like, oh, okay. And she's seen um, Bluebells play, Cardiff Bluebells play. Um, 
but she looked at me and she actually she said, I didn't realise I could do this as a job. And I said, what do you mean? I said, you can do anything you want as a job. She said, yeah, but I'm a girl. Girls aren't allowed to do some jobs. And that Women's World Cup made my daughter realise that there are no jobs in this world that are male jobs. Also, she, it's changed her entire world. It also gave, gave Rapino a stage which she performed on yeah. and, and really got a message across. Like yeah. One of the strongest... She's of, become you know, a figurehead uh, now, which is going to inspire there. that next generation. Absolutely. Like, Rapino, yeah. she's done an amazing... Her club, their hashtag is she plays here. That's their hashtag. That's she plays here. And their Twitter banner is she plays here and a picture of Rapino with like that picture with her arms up. Big shout out to our, to our hometown of Cardiff City Football Club. Being Card- Having Cardiff as our hometown. So many amazing independent businesses in Cardiff and the buzz around the city right now and living here. It's really exciting. And Cardiff City have played a massive part of that. But the Sala thing as well, you know, it was a huge bonding the, the, experience the for the city. We will never, know. obviously, will never know what that impact could have had on the football club as a result of that and many other things. Uh, relegated. Uh, now we've said goodbye to Neil Warnock. Neil not Warnock, dead. he's just he's retired. not dead. They need that to clear that up. But he became a gif as well this uh, year with his whole. And now thing. a little bit of a shout out, please. Shout out, Lee Tomlin. We've talked about, but wasn't an outright on the list. Was the home, homeless World Cup, yes, which was in our home city of Cardiff. Um, did an amazing job at that tournament. Everyone was superb. Being there and watching personally, you know, you and me meeting up, and we went to the opening ceremony. We decided to join the the march. I saw a player Cardiff. with one leg score a hat trick, and then Michael Sheen gave the best speech I have ever heard. Dragons. Dragon, we got something, we got over 100,000 views on that video alone. Inspiring. Um, shout out Mike Sheen as well for coming on the podcast. Thank you very much. That's, that rounds it up. Yeah. Good right. That's a tick on that.